What's going on guys? Well, uh, I slept a little later than I anticipated. Uh, Joey, uh, Joey's already at the ramp and uh, I just got my fat butt out of bed. So, uh, as you can see, it's a little cold this morning. Everything is uh, frosted over. Got the truck warmed up and it's starting to thaw off. But it's about 36 degrees, so we had to get a little frost last night. We're gonna go try and uh, catch a couple fish this morning, see what happens. The wind's kind of laid down. Today's supposed to be the only decent day for several days, so we're gonna make a mad dash. And uh, I'm gonna go meet up with Joey and we got a special guest for y'all today. He's a pretty funny dude. See if I can't get him outfitted with a camera this morning so he can also get some uh, good video. So stay tuned, guys. Hopefully, we have a little acting for you. If not, maybe we'll have some comedy. Meow. fam today me and tyler came out here to goose island state park and we brought tyler's cousin spencer with us yes he is named after spencer's there we go and he is also you know a shit emoji not really Boomer sooner. <laughs> anyways hopefully we're going to go to our honey hole it's a little bit less of a paddle it's been really cold out here in rockport it's also been really windy so uh tyler really wanted to get out on the water today so we decided to come out here and freeze our butt off and hopefully catch some fish. So let's see what we can catch. Whew. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Back here to Honey Hole. The reason why me and Tyler keep coming to this spot, so close to the pier, you can see that the tide is really low. I mean, hopefully the camera's facing right, but that wasn't there if you noticed it in the last video we had. This current is just absolutely ripping through here. This is the point that we were at normally. Right here. And you can see there's this deep channel that runs through here. And this current just keeps going. So it just keeps supplying the water. And hopefully the fish are out here. Just waiting for bait fish and different things like that to come floating down. Now come snag a hold. I am using a new spinning reel today. Got myself a pin, Battle 2 2500, because the Creed, 13 Fishing Creed, decided to give out on me, unfortunately. I got something. There we go. Slow, buddy. Slow, slow, slow. Man, I could barely even feel him pop. Fish on. Trout. Got that gambler. Chicken on the chain. Oh, that's keeper. Yeah, it's keeper. First one on the board today. He's a slimy guy today. Here we go. 
All right, first one on the board. There we go. Beautiful trout. Oh, it's retrieve and bounce, retrieve, bounce. 16 incher. All right, let him go. Ooh, that water is cold, guys. That water, it is cold. I don't care what Tyler said. It's cold. So, I'm pretty sure with this cold, cold water, these fish are really lethargic. So you're pretty much just having to put them in their face, just bounce it around a couple times before they bite hold of something. Today I was the first one on the board before the trout sniffer, which is really surprising. But I was just getting done saying the honey hole hasn't produced but I guess that little trout called me a liar there we go fish on Woo! all right Fish off! Dang it! <laughs> well, can't win them all. What I'm using today is a uh, gambler bait, chicken on a chain with a chartreuse tail. Can't really go wrong with chicken on a chain just color itself. I've enjoyed these gambler baits. I've enjoyed the Ingrid baits. I've enjoyed down south lures. And of course, the trusty old golf. There we go, fish on. Woo! That's a good size one right there. Oh. There we go. Oh, that's a good trout. There's words, that's how it's done, son. There we go. Ooh, this one is fat. Fat, fat, fat. Mmm. Beautiful trout. Beautiful trout right there. Once again, thanks to rockportkayak.com hooking me and Tyler up with these nice little yak gear measuring sticks we're at 17 and a half trout whoo there we go it's awesome awesome he's out of there there we go yeah Let's do that again these guys are fighting today Fish on, nice fish. Nice little trout here, guys. Let's see if I can get him in the boat. Let's see if I can get him in the boat. Come on, get him in the kayak. Get him in the kayak. Get him in the kayak. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Don't wrap up around that. Oh yeah, that's a slab. That's a slab trout right there. 
right freaking there guys right there look at that fat trout look at that fat trout that's how it's done son that's how it's done right there right freaking there yeah buddy see how big he is 21 inches 21 inch trout right there guys yeah all right thank you miss trout Woo! 21 that's a 16 inch fish right there yeah how long is he dude you got to know tyler has to know so once again i bet you tyler forgot but thanks you to rockport ryan with rockportkayak.com for giving us these awesome measuring sticks Six, Dude, I forgot everything. This morning, 16 and a half. 16 and a half. Okay, well, I said 16. Woo! And he's out of here. He's turning, going. To, he sees Tyler. He was like, I'm going to go get Tyler. All right. Thank you, sir. Uh uh uh. So, now I get to tell Tyler about my little story. I don't have an anchor pole anymore. You don't have a like a stakeout pole? No. Nope. Where's your stakeout pole? Go? Somewhere out there. Like it in Davy Jones' locker again? <laughs> you said you lost an anchor. I thought you said no. like an anchor. Anchor pole. Anchor pole. Because that's not how it came out. Of it. Yeah. Yeah. I was kind of mad at the time. You were sitting there saying 21 inch, you know, red. I mean, speckled. And I was all like, Yeah. Well, good for you. I just lost a $60 steakout yeah, how, pole. How did you lose a $60 steakout pole? Doesn't it float? No. Those things don't float. Dude, you didn't put a floaty or anything on it? No. I, I should have. But, no, I have that, that wire around it to clip on. Uh -huh. But I had it. I thought it had it clipped. You know how I have this clip here? Uh -huh. I had it clipped and everything like that. I thought when I went to go unwrap it, rolled right off right off into the water i tried to grab it try to find it it was just deep water and it was gone Dude, that sucks. yes sir yep gambler chicken on a chain doing ourselves a little catch and cook video so catch oh this, this sucker is nice buddy yeah nope just popping popping Whoo! It's probably a 20. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. Dang it. Oh, got a flounder. There you go. Hey, I don't like taking him fishing with us. <laughs> we haven't caught a flounder yet. Fifteen or fourteen? It's either fifteen or fourteen. I don't remember. Gosh, dang! This guy is a fat boy. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, that's a monster, Joey. You better, if he's 21, then he's going to find. Whew. <laughs> 21 and a half. Screw you, dude. 21 and a half, right there, buddy. You, What's going on, Yak fam? Hey, afternoon. Greetings. Salutations. Now. Okay. What's going on, Yak Fam? Hey, today we did a great day of fishing. Spencer caught up his limit of trout. Tyler caught his limit of trout. I caught my limit. I caught my Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> I caught my limit of trout. 
Spencer sucks because he caught added that a flounder, flounder to the bag. And me and Tyler have been so close to that Texas slam, we have not yet got it. But he caught one of the fish that we need, and at least now we know that they're out here. How'd you like coming out kayak fishing? Uh, ama amazing day. Couldn't ask for more. Loved uh, loved being out on the water. Loved being put in put in it, and uh, it's good to go. I'm gonna be out here again, and uh, you'll be seeing me some more. And uh, adding to the bag lemon. We just need a redfish, and uh, we'll have all we'll have that going. <laughs> How was was this your first time in a kayak, kayak first, fishing? First time, uh, first time uh, kayaking on the South Texas coast, and uh, glad to be back home. Glad to be back in it, and uh, it's going to be new, and uh, we're going to keep on with it. It's not going to be uh, every other every other thing. It's going to be every weekend as much as we can. As much as we can, exactly. Tyler, how was your day, bud? Freaking amazing. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, couldn't ask for more, really. I caught three limits of trout. It was it was, it was, it was great. Absolutely great day. I did catch the biggest trout today. I caught a 21 and a half inch speckled trout. Mm. Beat Tyler's 20 inch speckled trout. 21 inch. Okay, 21 you inch. Beat about half an inch. Half an inch. Hey. All right. So it, it's it's the size that matters, people. It's the size that matters. Anyways, thank you for joining us. Thank you all. And remember, it's always about friends and family. God bless. We're out. All right.